What is up, everybody? We are continuing our Resident Evil 3 coverage live on stream here and YouTube. We just checked out the Resident Evil 3 story, or the first part, the first 50 minutes. We're going to be checking out the second piece of content that comes with Resident Evil 3. It's called Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer component that they are bundling in with Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. It is the four-on-one multiplayer um, online game. Now, I did not play the beta, so I'm going into this completely blind. Can't wait to check this out with you guys. Let's check it out together. Hopefully we enjoy this. I just did up, upload or download an update. Some kind of an online patch. Let's see what this online multiplayer is all about. I'm absolutely loving Resident Evil 3. They did a really good job on the remake. I know there's a lot of idiots out there that are comparing it to um, Resident Evil 2, but they never even played 3, so they don't even know about the original. So they're talking out of their ass. All right, connecting to PlayStation Network. All righty. Okay, we're going to do our brightness here. Okay. Really interested to see what this is about. Oh, Mr. X? Yeah. Wow. So it's got a lot of all the elements of other Resident Evils in one. Maybe all the different enemies. I don't know. Looks pretty creepy. Looks like everybody has to work together. F taking over phase eight of a human experiment. Huh. Hmm. Resident Evil Resistance. Huh. So I guess it's gonna... It's gonna join me in with three other random players? Almost like uh, Call of Duty Zombies, right? All right, if, if it's your first time playing, we highly recommend you start with the tutorial. Let's, let's do that and learn the game the right way. Because I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, you can use the EIS to detonate traps before they are triggered. 
Control zombies significantly take significantly less damage to use this to your advantage and pick off survivors whenever you can catch them alone. No zombies were... <laughs> Mastermind, main objective. The experiment is about to begin. If the survivors have not escaped by the end of the countdown, you win. Try moving the camera to look at your surroundings. Okay. That's weird. I don't know. Use the map to switch to the other camera. Oh. Spawn a zombie at the indicated location. Control the zombie. Attack the survivor. Oh wow. So I'm the zombie in this mode. Seize control Kill the zombie and return. Killing the uh, survivors. Survivors will respawn at the start of the area when killed, but the time they have remaining to escape will be drastically hmm. reduced. Place a trap at the indicated location. Okay. Oh. Use the machine gun skill card to defeat the survivor. Oh! Exit fire on the Hmm. Different. Well, the tyrant. Attack the survivor. <laughs> Countdown ended. Experiment successful. Weird. Strange. Here we go. Play the survive survivor tutorial. That's what I want to do. So, oh, okay. so this is almost like um, what was that game? Evolve, where one of you was picked to be the monster. And then the four of you have to survive it. Huh. Ew. 
Sissy Spacek. Huh. Ram open the locked door. Go to the puzzle lock. Hey. Crash Bandicoot? Find the missing puzzle piece. Each character has a unique personal skill. Use Valerie's to mark nearby items. Huh? Each character has a unique skill. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can... That's Umbrella. Huh. Maybe Carlos finally fixed his hair. Ooh, here's a piece, maybe. Attach the puzzle piece to the okay. puzzle lock. Hmm. Assembly complete. Exit open. We got puzzles too. Huh. Look for the security guard zombie. It will be carrying the security card. Okay. Well, I hear something. Defeat the security guard zombie by attacking its unprotected head or back. Oh, nice. Got him. Pick up the security card. Unlock the security device. Ugh. Use the map to locate it. What do I have to do? To the exit. Whoa, something came in. Help your teammate. Your teammate oh, is shit. Death. Help him. How do we do that? Oh. Valerie's fever skill can heal injured hmm. survivors. Her name is Valerie. Hmm. I don't know. Who's this guy? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Head to the exit. So she's a healer. That's good to know. She looks like Billie Eilish. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is blocked. This is a very interesting multiplayer game. Pick up the umbrella credits. What is this? Oh, look at this. You can buy stuff. Green herb. Ammo. Repair kit. Huh. Interesting. Buy a more powerful weapon from the armory. It says in stock zero. Oh. Lightning Hawk. Okay. Equip your new weapon. Nice. Leave the safe room. Find and destroy the red bio core. Whoa. You have been uh -oh. infected. Find a blue one. There it is. 
Use the blue herb to lower your infection rate. Okay. So triangle is Find and destroy the red Triangle is just like in the other game, um, inventory. You could probably combine and stuff too. Huh. Oh, sledgehammer. I picked up a sledgehammer. Melee weapons are the best choice for close range. Nice. Activate the switch to open it. Survive until the final oh, exit shit. is open. Hmm. Oh, come on. It opens in ten seconds. Nice. Nice. The final exit is open. It's a nasty weapon. I made it. Well, that's pretty cool. That's definitely different. There's a lot of different elements to survive. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder how this is all going to play out. I got some kind of reward. Results points are earned through quick matches. Use re results points to acquire equipment and cosmetic items from the shop. To enhance and personalize your character, head to the shop and obtain your first piece of equipment now. Alright, so Mastermind is, I guess, when you're the enemy, and then Survivor. Huh. survival kit hmm missions headshot creatures 20 times deplete special weapons 3 times complete all daily missions receive a result grade of B or above five times. Huh. Customize. Oh, there she is, Valerie. January? Oh, she looks like a real hoe, huh? I'm trying to think of that actress's name she reminds me of. Tyrone? Oh, yeah, Tyrone, yep. That looks like Finn. From uh, Star Wars. Huh, I'm gonna call him Finn. Sam Yule, yeah, he's from, uh, he's from Jonas Brothers. Martin, he's from uh, Stranger Things. 
And Becca. Oh, yeah. 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 That's Miley Cyrus' sister, I think. I guess you could customize each one. Let's see. Equipment, skills, and cosmetics. Default. So it doesn't look like anything is really unlocked. I thought maybe by doing the tutorial we got something. Oh, here we go. I guess as we play, we unlock, you know, stuff. We're going to do our first full game here and see how it plays out. I guess um, it randomly picks the character for you and what side you're on, I'm thinking. But I'm not sure. I can't, I can't stop thinking about what movie I'm thinking of that she, what actress she is. You know, the one with Eminem. It'll come to me. All right, let's go back. We did the tutorial. Let's hit start. Practice mode allows players unfamiliar with the game to quickly get up to speed. In practice mode, you can modify game rules, explore every nook and cranny of the map, and practice your winning strategy in a predictable environment. Try playing practice mode if you want to become more familiar with the game. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do that. Oh, Carl says Brittany Murphy. That's who I was thinking of. Thank you, Carl. Uh, oh, so you could do Mastermind, Practice Mode, or Practice Mode Survivor. Let's do Survivor. All right, map. We could pick the map. We could pick the presets. We could pick... Oh, we could pick everything. This is cool. All right, let's keep everything default. Go to Valerie, because we used her already. Liquors. Oh, they got liquors in this game, huh? Ugh. Those things are annoying. Who's that? Life need not be easy, provided only that it is not empty. Life need not be easy, provided only that it is not empty. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they gave me... So they're starting me off with some ammo? And green herb. That's good. Oh, look. A 
a repair kit. I'm gonna buy this. A blue herb. What does this do? Yep. Awesome. Oh, I should have bought the grenade. Eh, I'll save some money. That's good, though. Okay. Search for the exit. We got somebody else down there. I don't know who the, what character that is. Oh, down is the herb. Okay, that's good. It's a nice car. What is that, Crown Vic? Huh. Repair kit. Oh, I almost bought one of those. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I hear something. Oh, this asshole's getting up. Ugh. Nice, one shot. Umbrella credits? Oh, money. Good. This will be over soon. Ready. I cannot sit idly by while you attempt to use. That. What? What would I do with Mr. Raccoon's hat? Maybe it belongs to Tom Nook. Well, this place is fucked, huh? Huh. Green herb. Looks like it combines itself, huh? Oh shit, look at this asshole. Oh, nice! I'm finding a ton of those credits. Oh shit, he's getting up again. Yeah. Right back down. Ammo. Lots of loot here. Oh, come on! <laughs> Stupid thing. Unbelievable. Nice. but it does. Okay. Oh, come on! Stay down. Oh! Oh, uh, remember that from the tutorial? Yes. I have everything I need to succeed here. Hmm. There's plenty of toilet paper in here. Oh, what a filthy toilet. Ugh. 
ammo. Nice. Definitely get a good supply of ammo here. We need to find that piece. Restore Mr. Raccoon's statue puzzle lock. Looks like they placed it in a different area than in the tutorial. Huh. Green herb. Nice. Oh, here we go. Your continued efforts only place humanity in greater danger. Oh, look, they got the blue screen of death. That sucks. You ever get that? That was a big Windows problem back in the day. Huh. Oh, this guy's got it too. They must have a bad uh, IT team. What's this? Another repair kit. That's good. All the stuff I was going to buy, I wound up finding. Good. Oh, two of three. There's a third piece missing. Um. Hmm. Umbrella credits. Oh, good. Look, there's a store. Well, these computers don't work. How are they supposed to play Minecraft? Here. Repair kit ammo? Get some ammo. Buy a green herb, because you can never have enough of them. What's Matilda? Steel bat? Automatically repaired if you have a repair kit in your inventory. Really? Huh. Surprised there's no missing piece in here. Ton of umbrella credits. Oh, I see it. Even should you proceed, I will stop you yet. I always had the advantage. Now it is sealed. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> what? Much longer. I'm surprised you made it so far. Defeat the security However, guard zombie. I must complete your eradication. Oh, look at this. Hand grenade. Here, I'm buying one. Quick draw. Yellow herb. It will increase the user's attack and defense for one minute. Really? Wow, 50 ammo at a time. 140. Shoo. Hmm.
Wow, another repair kit. I have three of them. Nice. What's this? Umbrella does like its locked doors. Requires security card. Oh, the security guard zombie has it. Shit. Come on. She's infected. Unreal. Because she's an idiot. Oh, look at this. Oh, looks like Whoopi Goldberg. Come on! Oh, I'm in big trouble. Hmm. I think that's it for me. It's yes. not... I have everything I need to succeed here. It's not letting me access my inventory either. Leg is glitching out. This is they both teamed up on me. Huh. All right. I do have that grenade. There he is, look. <laughs> oh, shit. Ammo. Nice. Jesus. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on. Where did he go? He disappeared? I don't understand. Oh, I can't take the herb because I'm full. Why don't it stack on the three? Shit. Defeat the security guard zombie. I thought that was him because he had a mark on his head. And I shot. Oh, there he is. Who's this? Oh, that. That looks like Sean Mendez. Oh my God. Did I get him? I don't know where the that security guard is. That's the problem.
Another repair kit. I can't hold it. Nah, I can't replace anything with this. I'm gonna have to drop, leave all this stuff because my pockets are full. I always had the advantage. Now it is sealed. Oh! Whoa, whoa, scared the crap out of me. Have to backtrack. I was in this room already. I'm telling you, I saw that zombie. He had a yellow marker on his head. I shot him, and then he disappeared. Where the heck is this zombie? <laughs> He's nowhere to be found. Yeah. I have lived my hmm. life behind doors like this. Did you think I don't know how to lock them? Oh, wait a minute. That's a new room right there. I was I don't think I've, I've been in there yet. Come on, I shot him. Yep. Already shot him. There he is. Okay, so how many times do I have to shoot it in its head? Because I already shot him.
Yep. Nope, I didn't do that. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, look. You will all end like this. It's impossible because you're supposed to have four, your three other players helping you, not one. That's the problem. Huh? <laughs> Looks like it's highlighting him. Looks like we could go right to him now. It's a shame because it's it's very one-sided. Because as you can see on the left, there's a girl that she doesn't exist, and three other players that aren't playing. So you have absolutely no help. And a horrible aiming system, too. Let's see. Got him. I grenaded his ass. Awesome. I did it. I threw a grenade at him. Hey, you want to play cheap? I could do it, too. What's this flashing? Oh. This is only the first step. Use security device to... Okay. Oh, there's three of them? One over here. Oh, it's all the way over on this other side. Oh, here it is. I remember this one. This is the first one. The exit's open. Let's go in. A very minor accomplishment. Wow, she has an annoying Don't voice. How do you get to the exit? <laughs> Where in the world? <sighs> A lot of backtracking. Oh no. Come on. Another zombie? Really? Area two cleared. Got a bonus too. I am surprised you have come this far. I shall revise my strategy. All right. I have two herbs, so I could. Oh, I got two herbs, and then I got three herbs. Wow. 
How? Oh, there's some serious weapons here. How much money do I have? Six, oh, I have a lot of money. I should buy something. I'm gonna buy something. Ooh, nice shoddy. Hmm. Good. A flash grenade, huh? S a steel bat? How come I can't buy it? I want to equip this shortcut. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, where am I going? Destroy the bio cores. The aiming is so off. This is a bio core, isn't it? No, I I thought it was though. Come on. Ugly son of a bitch. Oh, there's one. There's a bio core. Okay. Oops. I don't want to use web ammo. Oh, this is... This is taking a lot. My weapon's gonna break.
Oh boy. What a shame. My melee weapon is gone. Oh, you know what? How can I repair something that's not even in my inventory? So, the whole point of these repair kits is useless. Oh, that's weird. The repair kits are gone. Why? <laughs> See, I thought this was one. I guess not. Now it will be easier to end this. Weird. No idea where these other cores are. There's two more. You have to find them. Oh, there, there's one, I think. Oh. 
What a shame. Yep. Yep. On a chemical level, I have no idea how this works. Yep. That is a core. But how do you get to it? Oh, okay. Alright. So, first I gotta kill these two assholes. Alright. This, this is going to really... No more ammo. Yeah, this is going to... This sucks. I need a, uh... I need a store. buy a melee weapon. Sucks. Why does she keep choking? This is stupid. It's gonna eat all my ammo up. I do that. <sighs> this is stupid. I should have had another melee weapon. Oh, I'm out. Yes. I have everything I need to succeed here. I'm I'm screwed. Oh wait a minute. Here we go. stronger than you okay. think. You will need to do more to escape. All right, we have a lot of problems now. Because I need to find the third biocore, but I also need to find a Oh, no. Shut up. Stupid zombie. I need to find a store. Oh my god, I found the third biocore. But the problem is, is I don't have anything to, to shoot it with. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this sucks.
Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. Ooh, ammo! Ammo! Okay. Nice. We have to find a supply drop. We have to. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found one. <laughs> okay. We got to think. We got to think here. Okay. What I need to do... We need to buy the sledgehammer. I'm going to be able to do it now. And, you know, it would be nice if we could find shotgun ammo. Oh, for all types of firearms. Really? Okay. Oh, this is so awesome. You have no idea. We'll load this sucker up. This is awesome. This is like the best thing ever. We are so in control right now. It's not even funny. We got a big monster up there, though. We'll kind of take care of him, maybe. I don't know. But there's the third bio core. There we go. Sledgehammer's really working. Got it. I did it. I don't understand how any of this could have happened. Activate the final exit. How do I find that? Oh. Okay. I have a feeling this ain't going to be easy. Get that shotgun ready. I don't know, I'm stuck. I don't know what... Oh my god. Wow. That was nerve wracking. How come it's not opening? I did it. 
Wow. I've got to go. I've got to tell my best friend how I feel about them. I, I might never get another chance. <sighs> wow, she has an annoying voice. Wow. What were you fighting for? Why did you struggle? 45 so minutes. Jeez. Pretty cool. I mean, you know, a lot of different elements, a lot of horror, survival horror. But then you have a lot of, like, timed puzzle solving. A lot of inventory management. You know, a lot of, a little bit of everything. Pretty cool. Um, join me next time. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to maybe get a group of people and do an actual match. But that's pretty neat. That's an awesome taste of what's to come. Um, it definitely got intense there towards the end because the time was running out and things were getting more harder to do. Um, I definitely going to be fun with a group of people. So we'll definitely have to set up a lobby and, um, try this out. It, it's definitely interesting. I like a lot what they're going for. Um... It's pretty cool how you can do the upgrades and find the chests and buy the ammo. Um, the zombies are actually pretty cool in this game. They're pretty tough. You have to really, really, re you know, hold on to your ammo. Especially when you're defeating, destroying those bio cores. Um, it does a lot of wear and tear on the, on the weapons. So it's pretty neat. It's a, it's a combination of a lot of things from from Resident Evil. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty different. Um, nothing like I was expecting, but definitely cool. Thanks guys for joining. I saw a lot of people entering the chat and chit chatting, and, and um, we'll definitely get a lobby going where we all get to play this together. I think that would be really cool. I'll see you guys on the next Resident Evil stream, which will probably be going back to Resident Evil 3 single player story. I wound up actually entering those DLC pre-order codes from Amazon and I was able to get, um, I was able to get some pretty cool old school costume packs for Jill Valentine and Carlos. And you're not going to believe what one of the costumes is for Carlos. You're going to flip out. And some really cool costumes for Jill. We'll have to try them in our playthrough. Uh, remember, we left off around where we played the demo. In that area, um, there was a typewriter, so we got to save our game. So it's starting to really heat up now. And then we'll actually go back again and try more multiplayer. So I'm actually going to be shifting through the single player campaign and the multiplayer to cover both, okay? All right, guys, take care, and I will see you on the next stream of Resident Evil. Later, guys.